This video is all about how to edit Roblox fast flags to boost FPS and fix lag. Before these tweaks, my game was stuttering, but after applying them, it ran way smoother with higher FPS. These settings work on any PC, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this helps you out, please subscribe and drop a like on the video. So guys, the first step is to locate your client settings folder. The exact location can vary depending on where Roblox is installed, but for most users, it's in the default directory on the C drive. To find it, open File Explorer, click this PC, and then open the C drive. Look for a folder named Roblox. If you don't see it there, check inside Program Files or Program Files 86, since Roblox is usually stored in one of those folders. Inside the Roblox folder, you should see another one called Client Settings. This is where all your fast flags are located. The fast flags files inside Client Settings control how Roblox handles graphics, performance, and other technical settings. When opened in Notepad, they may look a bit complex, especially if you've previously customized them, but don't worry they can easily be edited or replaced with new ones. Next, download the latest Roblox Fast Flags file from the link provided in the description. After extracting the file, you'll find two separate folders, one labeled Rivals and another labeled Other Games. If you mainly play Roblox Rivals, open that version. And if you play other Roblox games, use the other games version. Copy all the contents from your chosen folder, then go back to your client settings folder, right click and select paste. When prompted, choose replace the files in the destination to apply the new fast flags. Once that's done, launch Roblox and you should notice smoother performance, higher FPS and reduced lag. These optimized fast flags help your game run more efficiently by adjusting backend graphics and rendering settings. If you ever want to tweak or upgrade your setup further, you can use tools like Plexity, Voidstrap, or Blockstrap, which feature built in fast flag editors for advanced customization. Now guys, let's move into some advanced settings that will help you boost your FPS even further and get the maximum performance out of Roblox. For this part, you'll need to download the latest Roblox Voidstrap Fast Flag Pack from the link in the description. Once it's downloaded, open the extracted folder and locate the Voidstrap installer. This is the main tool used to manage and apply Roblox Fast Flags. Double click to run the installer, follow the setup steps. When you open Voidstrap, here you'll find an integration section that includes useful features like multi-instance launching, player message logs, and several quality of life tools that make managing Roblox easier and smoother overall. Next, go to the deployment tab. This section includes some powerful options such as multi-instance launching, and a special feature called cross-game teleportation, which allows you to switch between different Roblox experiences instantly. You might not use this every day, but it's a great addition for those who play or test multiple games regularly. After that, move to the Modifications tab. This area contains the Mods folder, where you can add custom textures, sounds, and even bring back classic Roblox elements, like the old death sound effect. One of the best tools inside Voidstrap is the Fast Flag Editor. At the top, you'll also see useful tools like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag, which make editing and managing configurations much simpler. Another standout feature is Profiles allowing you to save different sets of fast flag configurations and switch between them, depending on your performance goals or gameplay preferences. To apply your fast flags, click Add New to create a fresh flag list. Then, open your Boost Pack folder and choose one of the pre-made fast flag files. 
Each file is designed for a specific type of performance improvement, so pick the one that suits your setup. Open the file, copy all its contents, return to Voidstrap and paste everything inside the import JSON section. After that, confirm by pressing OK and then Yes. Once the new fast flags are applied, launch Roblox. You should immediately notice smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and less stuttering or lag. Voidstrap also includes appearance and shortcuts tabs that let you customize the look of the launcher and create quick access buttons for your favorite tools. A newer addition is the AI chat feature currently in beta, which allows you to ask questions about fast flags, optimization, and performance tuning directly inside Voidstrap. After configuring everything, save your changes, launch Roblox, and test your FPS using Voidstrap. This setup ensures that your fast flags are fully active and that you're getting the best possible performance out of Roblox. Now guys, if you want more stable FP and connection, you can use Gear Up Booster application using the link in the description. Here is how it works. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in Roblox, we'll be using Gear Up Booster. First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If Roblox is already listed there, perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Roblox and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on Roblox. Then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scanning for the best server. Next, it will ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab where you can manually switch servers if needed or stick with automatic mode for consistent ping performance. Finally, close the window and launch Roblox directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes, and a much smoother experience in Roblox. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped you boost your FPS, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.